Good morning, fans, privateer FX. Coming at you on Wednesday, August 5th. Reverting back to trend, this market is. Uh, yesterday, end of the day, we saw some pretty decent dollar selling. Euro, back above 118 after visiting 117 from the 119.09 highs. Still in the middle of uh, the range, but looks like we're reverting back to trend here. Dollar Cat also broke some very key levels, 133 and a quarter last night. This looks like it could go, it could go down a fair bit, uh, Dollar Cat. So be careful with this. This low here was 133.13. Oh, 133.15. Uh, so that will act as resistance now on the way back up. Dollar yen also just kind of slowly shifting, shifting left, but in a lot much more stubborn than the other currencies. So. You know, your horse looks to be dollar cad in, in, in all of this. Um, but dollar yen also. We, we like dollar yen back to 100, so we this is probably uh, probably interesting to try and sell some of this today. Uh, now that we're back to trend and we're hopefully we'll be resisting these impulses higher. Dollars are. We bought some yesterday at 12. Um, interesting uh, where it stopped up there at 53. Bunch of highs now. Uh, that's really a nice place to add. You want to be core long, dollars are. Um, just because emerging market currencies are going to get screwed and eventually default Turkey. Uh, South Africa both are in big big trouble just from a cash flow perspective right so if you're if you're running a real tight ship and you're borrowing a shitload of money to keep the ship afloat um, and the cost of that borrowing goes up or or this is the key your cash flows go down so you're not selling anything. Think of South Africa as like a department store. And COVID-19 is is sort of the the straw that's going to break the camel's back uh, in a lot of these a lot of these countries. Um, so we like being short czar. Um, how you want to do it is up to you. Uh, you could buy way out of the money calls. You could buy 20 calls for December. You could try and get long some spot here. Uh, but dollars are looks looks set to go higher, even in this uh, dollar negative atmosphere. Yes, finally through 33.02. Looked really offered after this bar here, this bearish engulfing at the highs, but we're just sort of grinding higher. Um, there's a cliff. I don't know when and where it's going to happen, but I think now you can you can give this thing a knock back down through 90, sell it again. Um, this is 31.90. This is like a on the dailies here, this is this is like your massive bear point. Um, on the shorter term, actually, sorry, thirty-two ninety also looks looks okay, just on a tactical basis. And then thirty-two seventy now is also a pivot. So we're looking to get short this stuff. We obviously have offers up at thirty-three thirty, like everyone in the world. We're now at the point where it feels like if you get paid up there, it's probably wrong. 
everyone wants to sell there in this gap fill. Um, so we're now sort of on red alert for the turn before everyone gets paid. Kind of reminds me of dollar yen at 106.60. All of the sheep, including us, bah, were offering at 106.60. Nobody got paid. The high was 48. Um, now we're now we're lower. What was the high? 47. Fucker. Um, I have a feeling ES is going to do the same. So, sort of, the sirens are on. Let's pay attention here. Um, I'm going to try and get short ES around here, somewhere up here. Uh, but we need price to confirm one way or another. Gold, 2,040. Traded up to 2,050. Wow. It's... Uh, quite amazing. Here's the hourlies yesterday. Bang, 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 bang. 20.50. Shit's bid. Can't chase it though. Um, if you don't own this, don't chase it here. Getting a little bit fragile. Those amount of up days uh, is slightly worrying now. Uh, so be careful on the gold. As far as the calendar is concerned today, we do have um, some European final uh, PMI services, which will be mildly interesting, and then we also have ISM services in the U.S., which is which is interesting. A um, few Fed speakers, BOJ speakers. We got uh, Meister late in the U, uh, late on the calendar, speaking from the Fed. We've got Kuroda speaking sort of mid afternoon. Um, Short dollars looks okay today, um, so maybe try and sell some uh, dollar cat up near 133 between 133 and 133.15, um, and sell some dollar yen between 55 and 75 for um, a little continuation today. Uh, that's kind of on the frontal lobe. Otherwise, we're going to be patient um, for what we think uh, is going to be the beginning of some bumpy times towards the end of this week it might begin or maybe even next week uh, historically typically this is what happens in August you get lulled to sleep early in the month uh, and then uh, the monsters come out mid-month heading into December so we're patiently waiting for that uh, but today tactically we'll try and be short some dollars dollar yen and dollar cat Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.